Hi, this is John Modlin, Senior Systems Engineer for ProfitApp in North America. So, um, I'm going to show you today how you can access our IOTA using some of the available APIs that are built into the device. This is our Network Visibility Capture Analysis Sensor. Um, it comes in a few different models here. Um, we have um, a 1G, a 1G+, a 10G, and a 10G Plus model. And the 1G Plus has one terabyte or two terabyte SSD. That's optional. And built-in GPS for hardware time stamping. Uh, and the 10G model has SFP cages there. And then our standard models, the 1G and the 10G. So they all have APIs you can use to access these devices and do some remote functions if you want to. And I'm going to show you some of those and how to do that, or one way to do that anyway. So we have a website here, um, iota.profitap.com slash API. And I'm going to go to the index here. And here is a list of um, APIs that you can use to access the IOTA. But how are you going to do it? So there's a couple of different types, types of commands. There's the post type command. Um, and then there is um, a get type command. So what are we going to use to send APIs to this? For this example, I'm just going to use curl. So you can download curl at curl.se. This isn't anything to do with ProfitApp, but it's just a a program command, command line t tool you can use um, in, in this example. Of course, you could use um, um, whatever your programming choice is to access these APIs also. So I'm going to go to an IOTA that is running here on the network um, on, in line here. And how do, I, how do I do that? So using curl, I can use these options here and I'm sending username and password here. If it's a post type command, I'm including this format, uh, the IP address and the colon 3000 port of the IOTA and the directory tree here internally in the IOTA and the a, finally the API command. Or for non post type commands, you can see I've taken out minus X post and then I've listed the command here. Now, here's, here's just some of these APIs I thought were probably um, easily used by um, engineers who want to access their IOTAs. They might be a remote IOTA that difficult to get to for some reason, and you could restart the IOTA remotely, or you could start a software update uh, from the cloud if it has access to the internet. And there's a lot of other um, APIs you can you can program um, get status things like that. So I wrote a little routine uh, to let me do that here. So I could go to a device, for example, using uh, my little program that uses curl under the hood, and it comes back with my IOTA hardware status, my fan speed, the temperature of the device. I get a message here telling me the command was successfully uh, performed. And I pre-programmed some of these commands that are, I thought, more common um, in this little batch routine here. And like I said, of course, you can use any, um, any uh, program that you want to to do this, of course. Um, just try another command here. So here is um, get IOTA system configuration. Here I can tell um, it's running version 173, the time. Um, and, uh, you know, these are pretty simple commands. I can restart uh, devices remotely. Um, I can update from the cloud. I can do a factory reset. Um, so under the hood, um, this this is just a simple batch program, um, nothing special here, but I figured this way anybody could uh, look at this and see, see what I'm doing here. I just put the command together. It's really just using curl 
and uh, builds the command based on if it's an ex post or if it's not an ex post and uh, builds a construct that way. So uh, that's how easy it is to access your IOTAs using um, its APIs. Of course, you can use Python or, or you know, whatever language you want to use, of course, to access the IPAs, uh, APIs as well. Okay, I'm trying to keep my video short. I hope you found this useful. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later.